Hello and welcome to a quick guide on the difference between an encrypted and non-encrypted SIP packet uh, or a SIP call. I'm Matt from Narango and uh, we're a SIP trunking and phone system provider focused primarily on encryption and security. Uh, something we do a lot of uh, promoting I would uh, I would definitely say. Uh, so what I'm going to use to simulate this uh, call here just to set up, I'm just using a regular soft phone from Zoiper and I'm going to use Wireshark to simulate uh, capturing the packets over a network. This could easily be done in Linux with any type of tool uh, including TCP dump and so on and uh, whether you are a security enthusiast or you are an attacker any of these tools will uh, definitely help assist in grabbing these SIP packets. So let's go ahead and start that out. I'm going to choose my adapter here to sniff out on the traffic and I'm going to go ahead and make a quick call. Alright. Okay, so there we go, and we have our unencrypted uh, call packet. We're going to hit stop, and what we're going to do to get that packet here is we're just going to go ahead and use telephony VoIP calls, and we should see that VoIP call right over here. So there we've got a basic overview, um, a completed phone call with the 200 OK. Oh, my apologies. And we should be able to come over here and see that as well. That's the invite request here. So as you can see, we've got the UDP information. And we've got the invite message right here. And inside the invite, it contains the username. We've got a realm. We can also see that it was an invite, the phone number that it was sent to, or that we were attempting to call. We've got all the IP address information and uh, caller ID information, transport type, and then we've got the message body itself. And here we can see things like the codec negotiation, again the IP information, and so on. Okay, so if we go back over to this window. Close that in. Now what we can do is we can check out the flow sequence if we'd like to. And this will show us top to bottom the call information. It looks like my audio was not available while recording this. However, normally it would be shown there. In this case, we could play the stream here all right apologies for that so now we've got the packet information uh, right here the payload type source destination and as you can see we do have uh, movement on the wire and we could just go ahead Welcome, play that right back So that's an unsecured packet. Now let's go ahead and boot up a secured packet. Now 
Now in order to go ahead and turn on the encryption, we're going to go to advanced. We're going to go TLS with SRTP. And we're going to use TLS transport. That will re-register us. Okay. And we're going to start the capture. And we are going to make that call again. Okay, so now what we've done is made our encrypted call. Uh, it's important to note that we did encrypt the transport, which is TLS, so we're encapsulating the data packets. And we've also went ahead and enabled uh, SRTP, which is SDES encryption, so that we have the audio stream encrypted as well. It is possible to encrypt one but not the other. So it's important that you're not just encrypting the data packets, for example, and you do encrypt that audio because that can still be sniffed out from the network and those packets can be reconstructed to play the audio. And not only is it the audio, but also DTMF, so uh, touch tone. So if you're doing something, you know, in terms of uh, uh, sensitive input on the phone, you know, such as taking credit card numbers over the phone, for example, it's... Uh, completely uh, beneficial to have that uh, blocked out and uh, when you're going through things like PCI compliance and so forth those are not requirements uh, it's becoming more popular that those tones are being masked over the phone in terms of the audio of those are being suppressed but of course that can be sniffed over the wire and that's just something swept under the rug alright so now we're gonna go back to VoIP calls over here and you're going to see here that we don't actually have any VoIP calls picked up by Wireshark. Now that's because it was encrypted. It can't read that data. What we're going to be seeing is that this uh, packet is now going to have uh, missing information, which Wireshark uh, needs to pick that up and identify it as um, a SIP packet. And that's going to be the header and the body. So we're going to look for that IP address. Amongst all the chatter that we've got going on here. And here we are here. It would help if I stopped it there. Okay, let's get off port 22. D60. an SSH okay so here we go so here we've got a packet on destination port right here we can still see that we have a contact with the IP depending if you know what the IP is being used for um, Go ahead and see the destination port is 5061, and we know that that is where our secure SIP is. Most people would be able to identify that port as well. Uh, so that being said, we're also going to see here on the first packet, the TLS version 1, that is the protocol of TLS we're using in Zoiper. Uh, as of this date, uh, they have not implemented uh, 1.2. Uh, that's something that we're trying to push them to do as well. Uh, so the only notable thing you can see here that we're missing the header information as well as the message information f with uh, that you would find in a regular SIP packet and that's again why uh, Wireshark couldn't pick it up. And in addition you'll see the SSL uh, packet down here identified by SIP.TCP that's the protocol that it has picked up as being uh, uh, the protocol of the packet, so that's the only thing that's giving it away here. Um, and you can see the TLS version once again, and that's all you're going to see.
no other SIP information and that's what an encrypted SIP packet looks like I won't have any access to the DTMF payload and uh, as well I cannot reconstruct the audio as just, again you could tell no VoIP calls showing up there and you're not going to get any RTP streams down here either so that's the difference between an encrypted and unencrypted SIP packet and if you're interested in encrypted uh, SIP trunking or more security related to VoIP and uh, open source software uh, telephony software that is with uh, security encryption go ahead and check out our website at narango.ca thanks a lot for joining me and uh, be safe and secure out there take care